Yoshi. What up, what up, guys? Chris here, or Mighty Furtado, and welcome to a new series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Pokemon Uranium. This is a fan made project that's been in development for over nine plus years. It uh, features over 150 new Pokemon species, and it's in the Tandor region. It's a brand new Pokemon game, just actually came out a couple of days ago last week, and it's actually really cool. Uh, two fan made projects came out uh, Pokemon Uranium and a remake of Metroid 2 basically looking like Super Metroid. I'm going to be taking a look at that, at that game later on. Uh, but today we're going to explore the Tandor region and uh, play a Pokemon game, which I haven't done on my channel before, but I've been a big fan of Pokemon. Not hardcore, die hardcore fan, but you guys know I probably have talked about it in a couple videos years, years ago. But uh, yeah, let's get this started. So let's do new game. I should probably take took a look at the controls first. No, what the fuck is Nuzlocke mode? I should probably s uh, check that out, actually. What's Nuzlocke mode? Nuzlocke mode is a new feature in Pokemon Uranium based on a fan-made Nuzlocke challenge. It is intended to provide a much more difficult, suspenseful type of gameplay where the player's choices have much greater significance. Nuzlocke mode is available in version 4.0. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If Pokemon faints, it is dead and it cannot be revived. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna enjoy the story. Because fuck that shit. Are you sure you want to play on this boat? Yes, I do. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Who the fuck's this hipster? My name is Bam Bamo. Er, but if you don't find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great! Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Um, sure, you know what? Let's take a look. I'll have you journey across the region collecting specimens for my research. Along the way, you're, you're sure to encounter all kinds of people. Some will be willing to cooperate and some not. You should try and be friendly with everybody. We don't want a bad reputation, right? People will ask for your help solving mysteries or lending them a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy. There's dangers everywhere. Whether it be wild creatures or people with ill intent, you'll need to be on your guard. But keep it curious. Clear head on your shoulders, kid, and I'm sure you'll pull through with just fine. Want to load down what? Yep, let's go to controls. Uh, so arrow keys is to move the main character, C is to confirm a choice, check things, talk to people, X is used to exit, cancel a choice, so it's basically B, Z is to run, and then F5 press to use a register key item. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can. So I can use enter space for action two, cancel escape, it's easy, blah, blah, blah. Seems good. Alright, no info needed. What the fuck? We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than, mer more than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People in Pokemon coexist co something, oh, whatever. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. But there's so much we still know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, uh, specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon is an element type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there any new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Oh, who are you? Oh, wow, it actually gives you three different characters. So I'm not too sure... That's a girl or guy. That's a female. You know what? We'll go with the guy. Yes. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Uh, should I do, do Furtado? What's my last name? Hmm. There you go. That's a bit better. Yes, it is. Harambe, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank state. But blank slate, you, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Ten years ago, Harambe's family lived in Bell Beach City. Now, keep in mind, before I continue on with the story, uh, I'm really sorry for the way that it actually looks in the video. I know it's like about 75% of the screen is taken by the gameplay, and the other percent is black. That's why I added a little kitty gif in the bottom right-hand corner so you guys can see. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I haven't had any custom uh, kind of art made for me, so... You know, it is what it is. But sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, you still enjoy it. The largest city in Tandor. Dude, what am I playing? Dragon Ball Z? Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. 
Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on, an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend a home with young Karambe. The tender region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright. Until... Dun dun dun... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in specialists to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator des design really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far, far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... There must be a breach in the reactor at this temperature. It's just a few minutes. We'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to, to evacuate now. Lucille, you have to leave too. Lucille! What? With Cameron's help, all the scientists were, were able to escape unscratched. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area inhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. Keelan? I'm guessing it's Keelan. His personality changed. He became cold and, and dedicated to his job in time. He got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Harambe was sent to live with their elderly aunt, auntie in Moki Town. Moki Town? Huh. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned, waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Unfortunately, Unfor Ernest Bammo, the local Pokemon... Is that Bam Bambo? Bambo. The local Pokemon professor was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mogi Town applied. Harambe and their childhood friend Theo. It was common for youth of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Harambe's journey began. Harambe, come downstairs. You are late. Probably booted up the PC. What do you want to do? Item storage, mailbox, turn off. I don't think there's anything here. So what do, what do we got here? What system? A Nintendo Wii U. But I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. Ha! <laughs> the Nintendo NX. There's an ad for a new video game on TV. It's a Pokemon battle simulation game called Red and Blue Version. Okay, time to go. It's a map of West Tandor. Oh, shit. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, damn. Seems like a pretty big game, actually. Alright, let's go downstairs. Young Harambe. There, it's a very embroidery. Home is where the heart is, and there's a heart underneath it. It's a widescreen TV. I like to watch it while eating dinner. Robbie, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel gloom seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do so, could do, could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this, and you and that boy feel always following in your footsteps. That one, you've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He's younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Uh, anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Harambe obtained the running shoes. Instruction on them, the blah blah, hold Z, the toggle auto run in the menu. Oh, nice. Sniffle. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now, well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Hey, I can actually run in houses. Alright. You, you can actually toggle it. I think if I press this... Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. You actually don't have to go... Alright, that's pretty sick. I like that. Moki Town. Uh, these are just random houses here. I guess we can... It's dangerous to go to Pokemon. This that I know. Check the houses first, see if there's anybody. Listen, have you heard of the new video game? It's called Pokemon Red Version. Uh, I bought my son the new video game all the children are playing these days, but now he won't put it down for even a second. Kids these days. My daughter's now a trainer. Did you know she is training her chin monk in Route 01? Say hi to her for me if you see her. 
I think I like a Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong against bugs. Presser Bambo Bambo has a lab in the house on the cliff. How I wonder why he lives in Moki Town of all places. What's this? Moki Town, town of the fresh beginnings. Alright. Uh, well, it's on a cliff, right? So I'm guessing it's up here. I think it's up here. Hey, wait up. Oh, is this Theo? Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up Harambe. She. Hey, if it isn't Harambe and uh, your friend Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo. Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work at as field research assistant at Bambo Pokemon Research Lab. Your job will have, have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you will both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? I didn't study for any tests. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's not that kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better, suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not, you're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about what's the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide now. Rambe, are you ready to take this trainer after the test? Sure. Excellent. So without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Attack it right away, wait and see what it does, throw a Pokeball at it. So obviously you can tell what kind of Pokemon is right for you. The fire type, the grass type, or the water type. So if you do the red, the fire, green, you get the grass one, and then the blue one is the water type. Um, I'd rather attack it right away. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you rather prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Protect, or Hidden Power? Hyper Beam. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyways? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in all about battle? Gyarados, Gliscor, or... I can't read that because of the text. Amp... Amp... Amp Heros? I don't know what the fuck that is. I haven't played any of the new Pokemon games. I think it's A M P H R O C. Oh, Ampharos. Oh, I know it's what fucking type. Uh, which one was this in? Wasn't this in? When was this introduced? Was it in Diamond? Oh, X and Y. Oh shit! Really? Wow. Uh, yeah, Gyarados, hundred percent. Actually. Uh, I would actually be fucking Ampharos because it's electric. Fuck. Is it possible to fill this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best, exploring the region. Um. I guess exploring the region for me, but I should have went with All Red. No question about it. I'm going to be a Pokemon master, and nobody's going to stand in my way. Ha, I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze the results. Okay, I finished my analysis. Harambe. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what... I, I keep clicking too fast. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying the best defense is a good offense is probably your mantra. You have a burning spirit with, within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you... Raptorch is the best pick. Raptorch, this is the new Pokemon they created for this game, specifically. Go ahead and take it, Harambe. Ah, shit, so you... So the way that this game works is that in order to get the Pokemon that you want, so out of the three starter Pokemon, you get the fire type, the grass type, or the water type, you have to select red, 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 or green, 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 or blue, blue, blue. Okay. Would you like to give it a nickname? Uh, actually, should have left it because I really don't care. So now he's going to choose the water type. 
Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Robbie got their starter already. When do I get when do I get mine? I'm done anal analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. So he's gonna choose the water type Pokemon. It's not that hard. Theo. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But it seems I sense something else in you. Could it be that be the seed of greatness, the potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you. Oh wow. Is that the grass type Pokemon? Huh. Orkinex is the best choice for you. Yes, yeah, my first Pokemon. Harambe, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. In the lab it is. Harambe versus Theo. Rival Theo would like to battle. Go, Raptorch. Oh, wow, I already have Ember? What? I have like three skills already. This seems like Pokemon. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? What? But I was supposed to win. I got 350 credits, I guess. I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's Im impossible. Good trainers never lose. I. And he starts crying like a little bitch. Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and base, there, theirs has a type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the element type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matches is important part of being a trainer. No, no way. I want to do over. How come Harambe gets the better starter? Uh, it isn't fair. I'm going home. Huh. So I took the harder, took it harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He's just a kid after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to entrance to Route 01. By the edge of town, bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Harambe. All right. Okay, so our Pokemon adventure basically begins right now. Uh, let me just check and see all these other NPCs. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region, but there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. So you're going to be a big uh, breadwinner now, hey, Arambe? I should pop by to visit your auntie now and to again. What? What the fuck did this old bastard just say? I should pop by to visit your auntie now and again. Oh, I thought you said, and do her again. What the fuck? Sick old man. So we're finally heading out to adventure, eh? You take after your old man that way. My husband's long has long, has, holy fuck, I can't read. My husband's long been an admirer of your father, you know. What is this? Chin Chin. Oh, Harambe, you're leaving home, right? Here, have this. I hope it'll help your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Hey, rare candy. Nice. Hey, Lamel. Hey, Auntie. Let me talk to Auntie. Oh, honey, you came back to say goodbye. How sweet. Is that your Pokemon? What's it called? Rat Torch? It's so cute. Come back when you need a rest or if you just want to humor your old aunt. Uh, is there any other houses that I haven't been? I think I just came from that. Yeah, okay, okay. Should be good. I think there's one more house I didn't check. I'm so jealous you get to have your own Pokemon. My mama says I gotta wait till I'm older. Children grow up so fast. Not so long ago it seemed like I was one myself. Be sure to have your fun on your journey. Have fun on your journey. Oh, fuck. Oh, isn't that the guy from the fucking thing that showed whatever the fuck his name was what do you say to my son he ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him he won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs i swear if you did anything to hurt him oh so that's how it is so he got the weaker starter and he beat him in the battle hmm i see 
that explains it. Harsh lesson to be sure, but losing is losing is as much part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo, come downstairs right now, young man. Sniffle. Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of be being a trainer. But it isn't fair. Harambe got the better start in me. Now I'm never going to win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon could still win even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick, pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Harambe, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. Oh, I nearly forgot. Harambe, Theo, I have something for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Harambe, your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you when you both... Uh, to you both when you begin your journeys. I'm sure it will become it will come useful. Pokepod? the fuck is that? It's a high-tech device that is indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool, huh? I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go beat the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Parambe. Well, talk about a dramatic turn turnaround. He's always bounces back quickly. Harambe, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving to I won't see you or Theo again for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new po power plant Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's, best, it's the last place Lucio was ever seen. Best of luck in your journey, Harambe. Ah, uh ha, -huh. can't get here because I need um, strength. No, not strength. Ah, uh, fuck, I forget it. Whatever, same shit. Hey there, Harambe. Now that you and Tiro are here, it's time to begin your first lessons as Pokemon Trainer Research Aid. Now watch closely. All Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves and water and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Uh -huh. Blamo. Look, it's a wild Chinamunk. They're very common around here, so it hasn't noticed me yet. So now's my chance. Go Electux. This little guy was the other starter Pokemon you could have received. I think he's taking a shine to me, and I rather like him too. So I'm going to keep him. Now, the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Letux, use Tackle. Uh -huh. Shin? Now, now that it's weakened, now's my chance to catch it with a Pokeball. And that's how it's done. Now, Chinmunk are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflect them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Ah, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Rambe, Theo, these are for you. Pokedex. Hey, nice. That Pokedex is an encyclopedia that will automatically update itself whenever you encounter or catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure it fills up as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Got some Pokeballs. Nice. Rambe put the balls in his pocket. Pokeballs are necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. What's the thing that kids always say? Gotta catch them all. Uh, if you run out, you can pick some more at the Pokemart. Mogi Town doesn't have one of the one of those but there's one in Cavalier town on the other side of route 01 so with that said your listen is now over oh but you two have pokepods don't you here let me put my number shit you just slid into my dms boy you can give me a call anytime and i'll take a look at how your pokedex is coming along if you do a good job collecting many different kinds of pokemon i might even have special rewards for you with that said i'm going back to my lab best of luck on your journeys both of you Harambe, I don't care that you still got the stronger starter, I'm still going to be better, the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. She. Rudo 1. Alright, so the adventure starts now. Oh.